appreciate you for coming to check out the channel. Um, I respect your time, so I'm just getting into it. Um, so back in the day, um, I didn't use computer software. I didn't. Uh, I just used the hardware, and I really wanted to introduce some different sounds. I'm about to tell you uh, how you can get in standalone mode some VST-like, uh, you know, workflow. So how are we going to do that? An iPhone. So I've got an iPhone. A lot of people have an iPhone or an iPad. And if you know how to set things up, which I'm about to show you how to do really, really quickly, this isn't going to be a long video, you'll be able to introduce some uh, different sounds and introduce some, even some maybe iOS type DAW into your MPC. And this will work for MPC X and Live. I mean, this will work for pretty much anything and, you know, that can record audio as well. Um, so right now you can see we don't have a whole lot going on here. Um, this is just a single track and it's the only track that has anything on it. And the stuff that you're going to need for this is an iPhone or an iPad. And then the other thing that you're going to need is an app. Some sort of app that can um, get you audio. So let's see if I can just plug this in real quick. Okay, that's this is Gadget App. And Gadget app can act like a VST. So let me go ahead and focus this in a little bit better. So with Gadget app, you've got all these different types of, they call them modules or, um, you know, whatever they call them. But if I open up, you've got access to all these different types. A lot of them just come with, with, the, uh, with the app. This app in particular isn't the cheapest one out there. Um, it's this one when I got it, I think was like forty dollars, but it's got a full, basically like a full working DAW. And the other thing about Gadget is that you can export as an Ableton uh, project, so you can get this, um, you can get this kind of set up in here and then export it. And obviously, this has got Ableton uh, programs, so there's there's different stuff you can do. But back to the original point, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a couple pieces of hardware. You're going to need one of these. This is a camera connection kit. You can get these anywhere. Um, you're going to want the one that has, go to this angle here, you're going to want the one that has the lightning. There are some that don't have the lightning, but that's just going to drain your battery. So don't even waste your time with that. I think these are like 40 or 50 US. Um, they're not the cheapest thing, but you're also going to need one of these. This is a MIDI on one end, and this is USB on the other. These are like six bucks on eBay. You can find them. And then it's got this little light. It's got a little light that'll flash on here when you're sending MIDI. So what we're going to do is... Oh, also, before I forget about this, you're going to need a, this is just a USB hub, okay? This is just like your standard USB hub. People don't understand or don't realize that these can go into an iOS device. As long as your iOS device has got a camera connection kit with a lightning port on it, then it'll power this. So I'm going to plug this into the camera connection kit. And then I'm going to plug the camera connection kit into the phone. Okay, now that is set up somewhat. Let's see if, we can, if I can show you this on this side here. Okay, you can kind of see it over here. Okay, so what we're going to need is a MIDI track. And you know what else we're going to do is we're going to take the MIDI and we're going to turn it into audio and then we're just going to record it into audio into an audio track. 
So we're going to record, record a MIDI track and an audio track at the same exact time. So right now I've just got this simple little nothing big, nothing too crazy. It's just very simple. Okay, just checking to see if anybody had any questions or anything, but uh, I don't want to get distracted here. So that's a simple little uh, a simple little beat, and then. Oh yeah, I didn't introduce this. This is how you're going to get your audio out of the uh, iPhone or iPad. So this gets plugged in with the uh, USB hub. So your um, USB to MIDI, and then your any little like audio interface can send that can send audio, and then. This is a little output. So let's see if I can bring you in enough to see the writing on it. Probably not because it's, well, yeah, you can. You can see that. It says output. So there's output audio. And then we're going to output the audio right into the MPC. OK, so we're going to just go ahead and go to the next track. And this is going to be a MIDI track. There's nothing special about this MIDI track. This is all just stock stuff. Nothing has been changed or altered. It's going out of A, MIDI channel one. So now all we need to do is just understand what channel we want to work off of. So, and this is all for standalone stuff. This is so that people that want to work in standalone uh, don't need to work with the computer. It's just another way to get more sounds in. Um, so on this app, there's actually a way to change the MIDI settings. And uh, since I don't have my little pointer, I'm going to have to put my little skeleton finger in here and take a look. Oops, which one is it here? OK, that's your little uh, MIDI. And oh, I can't see it. Well, that's where it says your USB MIDI and your channel. So it says channel one. So that's easy enough. That's on channel one. So that one little that one little thing right there, it's this one is called the Phoenix. So this is the Phoenix gadget. And that's on channel one. So when I play this, and you can see it jumping, right? So if I go over to uh, an audio track and then I arm it and then make it so that it's on auto, and then go back to our MIDI, if I record something, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the arm for now, and I'm just going to make it come in through the monitor so I can just show you that we're not recording any audio, we're just recording MIDI. So, record, play, stop. take that down to two bars because I didn't even like that last part so so now we're gonna go ahead and just real quickly arm that oops and then we're on auto so when I go over to this and open up this track setting let me make that sure that's in focus um, so you should be able to see this once we get this recorded in and it's in coming in on input one and two. So what I need to do is just change that to three and four, or we won't be able to get any of the audio in. So if I do a little test here, you can see that we got signal, right? So now I'm just gonna 
hit um, record because we've got MIDI. So I'm just going to hit record and we're only going to end up recording the audio into the um, audio track. Okay, now to show you, I'm going to go back to MIDI. I'm going to mute that. So now we don't have any iPhone. There's no iOS at all. To prove it, I'm going to unplug it. Okay, it's unplugged. You got nothing. All right, and now I'm just going to go back to our audio track. And then I'm going to unarm that. There we go. And this is not... Um, you know, this isn't just for, you know, one track or one one little gadget. You can load this entire, uh, you know, whatever your I, iOS device can handle. You can put all kinds of gadgets in here. And then all you're going to need to do is just change the MIDI. So you're going to change the MIDI channel to match the MIDI channel of your gadget. And the only other thing is you just got to make sure that when you're putting your USB to MIDI cable that you're putting in the out into the out and the into the in. And for a lot of you guys, you're going to already know that, but for somebody that's just getting started, these are important. And I can't tell you how many hours I spent thinking I was doing something wrong and I just had them, well, I did do something wrong, but it wasn't tech, it wasn't so much, uh, you know, within the music. It was just within, I had it, uh, the way I had it set up. So, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't really have anything else. I just wanted to really quickly give you guys uh, the ability to um, use your devices in standalone mode like a VST plugin. Okay, and so if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe to the channel. My name is Will. Um, we're going to be uh, keeping up with the Mod Boss podcast, uh, vodcast, I guess technically. And uh, yeah, so please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace.